Okay, and we're live, like Sky Sports. You ready? <laughs> so I can see you all there making a little safe space for yourselves in your house. If you can, you can open up a little bit of a window, but seeing as Fred's outside, he's sorted anyway. Uh, make sure there's nothing around you that you're going to fall over or trip over. And obviously, hydration's massive for us, so a little bit of drink of water right the way through our session will be fantastic. You're going to be following Nick and Ant. Myself, we'll be doing a little coach demonstration. So this one's more like a fitness workout and the exercises that you need to be a footballer. And also, be ambitious is our little term topic for Liverpool and the Premier League Primary Stars programme. So try and get it to your level. You're not trying to beat other people on the screen. You're trying to beat your own little personal target. Is that okay? Thumbs up. Okay. So each little session is going to last for a minute with a little break in between to get our breath back. So you're going to copy our staff and you're trying to uh, beat your own little personal best. So can you try and go from 15 to 20 seconds, 30 to 45? If he was on here last week and tried to make it to the 60 seconds, which was fantastic. Don't forget if any parents or guardians are around, ask them if they can take any pictures or videos and share them. Let's get ourselves trending. So it's hashtag LFC Wednesday workout and hashtag PL primary stars. So we'll share this one out and hopefully Liverpool, the club, Premier League will be retweeting all your images for today and your families that you've been keeping uh, fit. If there's any families there, they want to get far as well, as long as it's safe, you can join them. Okay, so we're just going to watch this little video just so we can set our tone. So this is a little picture of Joe Gomez. Always start with a warm-up. Bend down and touch the ground. Jump straight up, reaching up in the air with your arms and hands. Lunge forwards, bending your front knee above your toes and bending the back knee towards the ground with heel up. Okay, so these are some of the little activities that we do as part of the Premier League Primary Stars programme. Okay, so we're we ready, Nick? Oh, yes, we are. Ooh. So I'll put Nick onto the spotlight for you. So are we all ready, kids? Ready for action? I'll stop the shirt. Okay, so I'll just spotlight Nick for you so you can see what's happening for everyone. Okay, so as we've just heard, warm up, massively important. So just for one minute, just nice and slow, it's just a nice little jog on the spot. Okay, our time, yeah? So on my, when I say start, we'll start. When I say stop, we'll all stop. Okay, we ready? Three, two, one, off we go. Let's go. We'll have a little jog nice and, and easy. spotlights. <laughs> yeah, well oh, done. Three of them in action. Cross top there, I don't know what top that is, but it's fantastic. Ah, oh, look at this, brave, isn't it? In the cold. Keep going, kids, keep going. Come lads, girls. 30 seconds to go. Just nice and easy, not too fast. Fantastic Nearly effort there. so far, well done. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Brilliant. Okay, so back onto our little share screen. Okay, so our next one, while we're getting our breath back, is a Milner March. So James Milner, you're probably seeing them when at the AXA training grounds up in Kirby. Getting ready for the matches is vitally important to do your rehab and your prehab work. So Nick's going to show us some little activities that's really good and it'll improve your speed by about 10% if you keep on doing it over a few weeks. And it's vitally important for balance and coordination. Okay, Nick? Okay, so I'll show you a little demonstration. There's how we're going to go. So we balance on one leg and opposite arm in the air. So you knee that up, 
you're on your other arm, and then you're going to change. Oh, hold your balance. Then you're going to change, 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 and then keep going for one minute. So it's like a jog on the spot, but you hold, then you go again. Hold, go again. Everyone okay with that? Happy, thumbs up. Okay. Three. You can't listen there, Steve. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. <laughs> go on, lads. Go on. Oh, well done. It's really tricky to switch. Get your balance. It's really good. Makes you a <laughs> superstar footballer. Makes you a great athlete. Well done. Oh, great effort, Jack. <laughs> Them. That's great yeah. stretching. I love that. How good's good. that? Brilliant. Brilliant. 30 seconds. Balance. Coordination with your arms. Ooh, well done. This one. It is, yeah. So the really important thing, if you can just slow yourself down and pause and go, make sure you've got your left knee up like Nick's doing. Make sure it's opposite arm to opposite leg. So if you look at Nick, switch, 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 switch. So you keep on doing it. If you can switch like Nick's doing, it makes you a superstar, quick footballer. Because <laughs> Nick will change that now, Nick. Can you show them how that turns into a run? So you walk, you march, then slowly but surely, look what happens. It turns in to a superstar sprinter. <laughs> so they're the little things that we're going to be working on. Is that okay? And um, relax. Want to practice in your own time. Stop that for well done. Okay. So we're on to our Jordan Henderson lunges. So again, it's all about balance, coordination, making sure that we're doing the technique right. So then when we go to our footy or we go to gymnastics or the sports that we may be doing, or just in PE, and also just to be healthy. We can improve our balance and coordination so we can go back and show other people in our class how to do it or other family members. Okay. Demonstration. So two legs start together. One goes in front. Knee comes just past your toe and your back leg comes to the floor. But don't let your knee hit the floor. And then we'll come back up. Change leg. Down. Knee slightly past your toe. Back knee. Just above the floor. We ready? Everyone good to go? We're ready for action, I think. Three, two, one. Let's go. Ooh, testing me so yeah. <laughs> well done, lads, girls. Brilliant effort, everyone. Well done, Fred. Brilliant. That's it. Let's have a little go. See how you get on. Top effort. Good balance. Well done, Jay. 30 seconds gone. Well, I'm there. Brilliant. Come on, Jack. Let's have a little go. Oh, it's tricky. Well, well done. done. Good balance, mate. Bring your front, your front leg out a little bit further. Oh. Oh, well done. Top effort. Four, three, two. Well done, Tag. One. Relax. Brilliant effort, everyone, so far. Not too bad, are they? Because some of these are tricky, are they, for your balance and coordination as well? Yeah, it's tough. Okay, so this one, we're going to pretend we're going to Anfield. We're late for the match and we need to get up them. Anyone been to Anfield? You see them steps in front? We need to get up that podium a few times. Okay, so Nick's going to show us the correct little way of doing it. So we'll get our breath back. Go back onto Nick for us. Right away, everyone's getting ready. Okay, Nick, so what's the correct heat for going up them steps for us? For this one, it's entirely up to you how fast you want to do it. So we can either just march up like this, similar to before, 
with your opposite arms and knees, or you can go a little bit faster if you feel up to it. Okay, we ready? Important, arms and knees, get that technique nice and good. Okay, nice and right. We ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Let's go, let's see how we get on. If you want to go faster, go faster. If you want to go slow, that's fine also. Brilliant. Well done. Yes. Brilliant. Good stuff. Some good techniques there. Tell you what, not many people are wobbling though, are they? No. We're going to get in for you'll never walk alone here, I think. <laughs> <laughs> 30 seconds gone keep going go on oh they're nearly there keep going last few seconds is it now 10 seconds oh push it in I'll go quick for the last Three, two, one. Relax. Well done. Well done. So it's finally important to get your little breaths in now before we go on to the next yeah. ones. Because this one's going to be a little bit of a tricky one, especially for you three in uh, the, the household there, all doing your star jumps all at the same time. You might need a drink. So obviously Liverpool have won the Champions League six times. Now what we usually do when we're doing our sessions in PA, we say do try and do six uh, star jumps. But for this one, it's continuous star jumps. Now, the idea behind it is we don't want you just doing it for the sake of it to try and get to the minute. If you go a little bit wobbly, try and bring it back and get the correct technique that Nick's going to show us now. Just takes a bit of seconds with the Wi-Fi coming through. Okay, so Nick, you're on the screen. Everyone see Nick? Put your hands up if you can see him. Thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah, okay, Nick, away you go. Okay, star jumps, keep your body nice and straight. And then when we come out, we bring our arms straight and obviously our legs just slightly further than shoulder width apart. So straight arms, back in, straight arms. And then we'll keep going for 60 seconds. Yeah, if you need a little bit of a breather, that's fine. Just stop and then restart whenever you feel comfortable. Okay, we're ready, Nick. We're good to go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Get that technique right. Arms nice and straight. Legs out. Brilliant. Well done. Okay, what's some height getting there? Yes. Well done, Fred. Touch. We'll be on. 30 seconds left. So try and be ambitious. Try and beat your own little personal target. Twenty seconds. Keep going. Try and hang in there. Don't stop. Oh, you're being very ambitious. The Premier League will be made up with you. Five. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Well done. Excellent work. That was a, a tough one. I think I need to sit down myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like how you have little sips there, Fred. Well done. Because the next one's going to be a little bit of a man fast running. So this is where we're going to lose a lot of our energy up. Okay, don't forget, these are getting filmed and recorded and the chat box is getting recorded. So we need to be sensible on all our videos and our chat boxes. Is that okay for everyone? I know a few people are struggling with the screen, so when you touch it, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that everyone knows that it's getting done for the Premier League as well. We all okay so far? Thumbs up for Nick. Thumbs up to me and Ant. Well done. Brilliant. 
para limpar os gales. We good to go, or is anyone having a drink? Or I think we're all back. I think I think uh, just one on the iPads just left the room for a minute. We'll be back now, I think. What? Yeah, he's back in the house. Back in the house. <laughs> okay, Nick, for this one, where Manny gets the ball, he's got a defender behind him. It's then fast feet to turn, fast feet to turn, fast feet left, fast feet right. That's okay. So just pretend you've got a person behind you and you've got to face them up. So it's turned around quite quickly to face that. Imagine you're in the Champions League semi final for Liverpool. You've got the ball, you're just being passed the ball by Henderson and it's 1v1. But you've got the ball and where that being spying is behind Nick is a defender. So you can you go on your tiptoes, turn, face to the left, turn to the right. Is that all right, Nick? Like Manny's goal against Bayern Munich last year. Yeah, exactly. Quick turns. That's what we want. It's a quick turn. And then jogging on the spot. Hold on. Turn the other way. Are we happy and with that, kids? Thumbs up. Does everyone understand? So what we're trying to do is, it's not just a case of we've all just jogging the spot, can't we? We've got to be creative and get in that mindset of what we're trying to do it for. So Liverpool players have to be elite at that one second. So this is our chance to try and train like for a player. That okay? Make sense? Love it. Yep. Okay, next over to you. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. So jogging there. Clean. Jogging. Not bad for everyone, love it. Good stuff. Well done, Tag. Well done, the Lisa Posse. Love it. Well done, Jack. Oh, yes, I like Fred. that. Like the way you're checking your shoulders as well, Fred. Yes. Well done, Jack. Well done, you too. Oh, what a sweet I thought that was Manny then. It was Manny then, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. I'm relaxed. Brilliant. Give yourselves well a little virtual high five. High five to the screen. Well done to everyone. Yeah. See each other on. Okay. Little drinks time. I've seen a few. Having a little sip of a drink there. So if you can just go and get yourselves a little bit of a drink for a couple of seconds, if that's okay. I like that, Jeff. You got a little picture there? I know, what's that mean for the champion? Oh, the trophy, the four trophies. Love it. That's boss, that, mate. So just quick little 30 second little hydration break, especially for Nick as well. But yeah, yeah. I needs it more than us, doesn't he? What off? He's flying. <laughs> okay. So if everyone, I'll just make sure everyone's back in the uh, little room there for us. Jay's, Jay's having the rest on the floor, love it. Okay, can everyone see the screen? We're just going to watch a short little video. So if you go a little bit closer so you can hear some of the information. So this is what we're going to be trying to do on the next one, which will be about Alison and pretending to be a keeper. Jumping for height. Hips, knees and ankles, bent and soft, ready to spring. Back and eyes. Keep your back straight and your eyes follow your hands. Arms. Swing behind the body. Hips, knees and ankles. Extend through hips, knees and push down through the feet. Arms. Drive the arms upwards for extra lift. Okay, so as you can see there, it's all about jumping for height on this next one. So obviously a keeper like Alison, they've got to try and jump up to save the shots or crosses. So Nick's just going to show us a little bit of a demonstration for that for us in a moment. Okay, massive one. Just be careful if you are under any lights or any objects that might be above you so you don't knock them over. I'm going to have to be careful so I don't go through to the, the bedroom upstairs. So bend down. Back saw the straight, big jump. So you're catching the ball and then land. So straight at the side. Bend back straight. Jump. 
catch the ball. Okay, we all right, everyone, with that. Just wait for next count time. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Brilliant. Nice and low, bend your knees. Swing your arms, nice big jump up. Come on, Fred, you've got, you've got loads of space out there. Fred, you want to see you nice and high? Great jump in. Twenty seconds. Yes, good jumping. Oh, wow. Well, How well, was that? Ten. Well done. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Well done, everybody. Brilliant. I like the way you're all trying your hardest and being ambitious to try and beat your own little targets. Well done. So... The next one is our little Hendo shuffle that we all love. So we been trying to do this as part of our big red challenge on a Friday. I was trying to think, obviously, how the sore foot that saw me that day, didn't he, Henderson, when he lifted the trophy at the Premier League? So we're trying to see how many steps we can get in, but it's a challenge on this one. It's every now and again, do your little Hendo shuffle, and then we're going to pretend to lift the trophy. Again, just be careful when we're writing on the screen, if that's okay, because obviously these are getting filmed and we'll have to... Uh, it's messed up with everyone else on YouTube. Is that okay? Ah, uh, thank you. Okay, Nick, over to you, sir. Okay, and those a little bit different from before when we were driving our arms and knees right up. This time, it's just fast little steps, as quick as we can. Once we hit the minute, we can then hold the trophy above our head. Are we happy with that, everyone? Are we ready to go? Loads of yes. Who's that? Go on, Jay. Go on, Jay. Love it. Yes. Oh, the, the dog get involved. You can't get the dog involved. It's all right. Three, two, one, go. Fast steps. Your knees oh, don't man. need to be right up. Just nice and quick. Good speed. Yes. Fantastic effort. You can even pretend to hold a trophy if you want. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a long well, one. He's had loads of practice, didn't he? So let's see how quick we can go. Brilliant effort. 30 seconds. Come on, keep going. If you need a breather, take a breather. That's fine. Can you get your knees a little bit higher? Can we go a little bit higher for the last few seconds? Fast feet, fast feet. Little Hendo shuffle. <laughs> Come on, we're nearly there. 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Get the trophy in the sky. It's yes, yes, love it. <laughs> yes. Oh, Brilliant. that was a good Give yourself a clap. Amazing, he's that. Just, he's just flopped back into the field. <laughs> <laughs> a little workout. <laughs> <coughs> okay, let's see our next one. So, just obviously, our temperature's going up, our heart rate's going down. I think it's going down on the floor there. Can you put your hand on your chest? What's happening? Tell us what's happening with your body. Tell your family and your parents and your guardians what's happening. Who's out there with you? It's and tired. I'll just describe it for us. It's tired. It's <laughs> tired. <laughs> it? So when you think about it, how far have we travelled? Have we been jogging for hours? Have we been running around the block? We're just doing work that we can do in our living room or in our garden as Fred's doing now. Okay, Nick, you ready? Yes, as always. <laughs> okay, so over to Nick for us. Hey, similar to before, now it's just a nice little gentle jog on the spot. All right, one minute, just nice and easy. Just bring that heart rate down. 
a little bit because it's probably sky high. Okay, we ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Good stuff, lad, Scales. Okay, so we can see everyone. <clears throat> so it's not about going super quick now. Yes, yeah, so well done, the lad. Down a bit. Well done. Good stuff. Well done. Like the way you tried it there. Well done. 20 seconds left. Just nice and easy. So as you've noticed, a lot of our stuff right the way through the morning, it's more about the balance, the coordination, the technique, because we can all run really fast, aren't we, and go be wibbly-wobbly, but it's actually trying to get the technique right, which will enable us to be better athletes when we're older, and also we can go back to our teams or our dance clubs, and we can give information to our coaches or our family members, couldn't we? You can be all, you know, little coaches with the information that you get off your grassroots coaches, off our coaches, or your PE teachers in school as well. And uh, relax. Good Brilliant, stuff. Well done. Okay, if you've got a little water today, you can have a little sips again. Okay, so our next one is our Oxley Chamberlain little squat. Now, obviously, he's had a few knee injuries, so he's had loads of rehab work done. Knees, uh, Nick's had injuries, I've had injuries in my knees, so it's fairly important that we get our rehab done and also our prehab, so before you get injured, making sure our body's a boss going forward. So from an early age, if we can get all the squats done, it gives really important body weight information to everyone. So, Nick, over to you, mate. Okay, so squats, a little bit tough. So as we, we're going to feet shoulder width apart. And then as we come down, keep our back straight. Try not to let your knees go over your toes. So it's sort of like we're going to sit down in the chair. So we come down, back up. Sit down, come back up. So down the side, we're just sitting down in the chair, coming back up. If it is tough, you can either sit yourself down on the couch or the chair and then bring yourself uh, back up from the chair or the couch. If you want to have a go and try and do it without it, just down and back up. Down and up. Everyone okay with that? Thumbs up. You ready to go? Yeah. One minute. Ready? Let's go. Oh, top of it, people. Match good form, that mate. I like the way you're doing that one. Well, try and keep your back straight. Don't try not to bend forward. Good stuff. I like the way you're working together, you two. Well done. Use the couch or the chair to help you if you want. That's fine. Good sense. Ooh. Well done. A little bit lower threads, can you? Yes, there you go. Feel it in the quads. Some good techniques. 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Top effort, everyone, again. Absolutely fantastic. Well I love the way you're all trying to be ambitious. I'm trying to every exercise that we're giving you. Okay, so this one again, it's not a really fast one. It's more like just building ourselves up. So I'll pass it over to Mick again. Okay, Nick, a little field down, a little walk slowly. It's nice and easy. Just on the spot. Or if you want, go and have a little walk around uh, the space you're in. Just nice and easy, walking on the spot. One minute, off we go. Might want to shake it out as well, Fred, as you're going, mate, as you're walking around. Shake your muscles out that you've been working on. Well done, Jack. Well, you're playing follow the leader. <laughs> <laughs> 
Shake your legs out as you're going as well. Well done, Max. That's it, the shake your ankles out. Jay, you like that way you're doing that one, mate? Well done. Really well. 20 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, we're Ooh. going flying through it now. Okay, so at the end of the little session, we don't do our stretches like these at the very start when you first go to a football or dance or gymnastics club. We always try and warm our bodies up first before we do any of the stretches. So obviously Virgil and uh, Joe Gomez at the minute have to do loads of rehab work. So we all know about them. We've been out for 40 pages, but it's important that we do them to stretch our muscles out now. So I'll pass it over back over to Neff. And you just fly through the little calf stretches for us, please, Neff. And yep. Can you give maybe two examples of different calf stretches that you can do for everyone? Okay, so similar to a lunge, uh, one leg comes forward, push your front leg like a lunge, and this back leg stays nice and straight, and your heel stays on the floor. Let me move up a little bit. So your heel's on the floor, front knee is pushed out, and then we hold that, and then we can change. If you want to also, if you've got a wall or a... a the dining table and you can push against it and feel the stretch that little bit extra off you go get yourself started okay we're ready like it well done so try and set your muscles out set your calf muscles out change legs Good switch there, I like that. Change legs. And change over, last one. Come back standing straight, give a little shake out. Little wibble wobble. Well done, everyone. Yes, I like that. Good technique. <laughs> Brilliant. Well done, everyone. That'll do you. Nice little shake out. Okay, so again, little video, we do a little workshop. It's not just about being fit, it's about eating the right stuff, drinking the right stuff. So we're just going to watch a little Premier League Primary Stars video on nutrition, so stuff that we eat. So make sure you can hear it properly if that's okay, and maybe add information on to your parents or guardians, and maybe they can help you, maybe you can help them cook food or do the dishes. Okay, here we go. Well, the word okay, like we said, don't forget. Oh. We've got people who are uh, writing on the screen. I know it's tricky sometimes, obviously, with all the people who are uh, on iPads and stuff. We just need to be careful because obviously we're doing it for pretty legal living means, uh, food, effectively. Protein is particularly important because... It's a okay, uh, big uh, portion of bone and, and tissues and joints. So you need to make sure you get enough protein uh, on a daily basis. Carbohydrate is very important for energy, uh, as is fat. So you know, all three are very, very important. So make sure that you grow properly and uh, can exercise properly. Before games, the main thing that I try to do is squeeze as many high carbohydrate foods into myself as possible. Uh, I don't want to lose energy in the game, so that's the main thing I focus on before games is pastas, rices, have cereal. So the night before is important. I eat lots of pasta, uh, always have a pasta dish the day before a game. 
and in the morning as well have a big high carb breakfast. And we always plan to make sure that we eat about three hours prior to a game because that's you know the time period it takes for the carbohydrates to have an effect in your body so that the energy is released at the right time. The day before a game, um, then we tend to have more carbohydrates than we do on on a on an easier day or a lighter training day, um, just because we need that carbohydrate source to provide the energy to perform after we've played or after a hard training session. Um, we typically have a, a meal after that game, quite heavy in protein content because that allows the, the muscles to regenerate and, and fix themselves prior to, to playing again. Our players have individual programs in terms of their nutrition and it's based on their requirements when they play. Some positions that we have need to run more, need to jump more and therefore they need more energy than, than other positions. Um, some players uh, may be injured at which point they may be not training as much as the healthy players and we need to reduce the overall uh, amount of calories that they have in a day. Having a balanced diet is really good for me and it's really good for young people growing up aspiring to be the best. So I make sure I have a lot of carbohydrates and proteins because that's the main thing that I need at the moment. You need like your, your fats to replace the things that you have lost during the day to get everything back so for the next day you know that you're feeling good. Yeah, we have players from, from all over the world, so when we're creating our, our meal plans, we have to think about culturally what they eat. So we have to make sure that not only does the food support performance and recovery, but also supports their needs from where they come from to the foods they like to eat, and also what it's presented like. Uh, my tip is to, to try and have a colourful plate. It gives you the right balance of the nutrients and all different foods to aid your body and, and help with the, the growth and repair. I think one of the big tips I give to children to eat well is don't be afraid to try new things. You'll find a lot of things that you might not immediately fancy actually taste really nice and are really good for you. So I think that's a really, really big tip. And plenty of variation, that's also really important. And probably the third thing is plenty of fruit and vegetables to make sure you get lots of natural sources of vitamins and minerals. Okay, so we're going to launch a little poll now. So on the screen, can you just answer those four questions for the Premier League? Just so we can tweak little sessions as we go through. Obviously, we've got a step-up programme on Tuesday and Thursdays. We've got our football sessions with kicks. And also, we've got our big red challenge with me, uh, me Nick, on Friday as well. So I'm just going to launch the poll here. If it'll work, just hold on. Okay, so just in the chat box... If we can just put in, have you enjoyed today's session? One being the lowest or 10 being, yes, it's amazing. Can you put your little thoughts into the chat box for us, please? What's coming through there, Ant? Two tens, a nine, a 10, 11, a yeah. 10, <laughs> 10, 10, eight, a 10, okay. an eight. Honest. On a scale of 1 to 10, so again, 1 being the lowest, 10 being the highest, would you recommend these sessions to family and friends so we can forward them on and get them registered? Because we've even got like a national puzzle day on Friday. So you can get your families involved. It's like an escape room. So we're going to try and do that on Friday as well. So we'll give you the links for that as well. So, so, so again, ten. load of 10s, a 9, a yes from Jack, a yes from Abigail, another yes... A little tick. Brilliant. Oh, okay. So they've all enjoyed it. Good stuff. Okay, last one. One to ten again. Do you think it's helped you physically, with your physical fitness, but also the information that you're getting? Is that okay as well? Having a little workshop featured in as well. So one to ten with that one as well, please. Um. Oh, Abigail, give us 11. Like it? Yeah. Oh, cheers, guys. Tens, no. Eight. What's that one? 20. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's okay. 20. Six. Six. 13. Okay. Thanks very much, everyone. So, obviously, we've got Thanks, our Steve. safeguarding team at the club. Cheers for that, Ant. We've got our safeguarding team at the club. If anyone's struggling for anything, maybe family needs some information, we've got Carl Laird and the team at the safeguarding at Liverpool. So, it's a thank you from me. Thank you for Ant and thank you for Nick. Give yourselves yep. a little bit of a tap on the back there and say well done to yourselves. You're absolutely fantastic. Oh, We've got the links in the chat box if you want to take that where you can do the National Puzzle Day for your families or yourselves can get involved. Uh, don't forget always to try and register with our sessions on Open Play 
and going through our LFC Foundation booking site. Abigail, it is a pleasure. Thank you too. As I say, it's just something different, isn't it? We can try and give you some information behind why we're doing exercises. And also, if you're doing stuff behind the screen all day, just, just a little bit different to all you, isn't it? Trying to do different exercises and different information. Well done, everyone. Little virtual high fives to the screen. Well, well done. done. Keep well, 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 boys, well. girls. Brilliant. Keep practicing. If you need any information, tell your parents just to send an email over to us. And we've got our step up program, which is about coping strategies, routines. You can get all your family involved. They can try and do like a 45 minute session on a Tuesday and Thursday. Just learning to obviously deal with lockdown and different stuff like that. We all the same lads involved with Chris and uh, Jacob as well. So I'll tell your parents and your guardians, thank you for getting it all sorted for you to join in. See you later, everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> oh, take care, everyone. Oh, cheers, fellas. Okay, just wait there while I just stop the recording.